I just want to show you something that I found really amazing here. This is my oscope. I'm going to show you here my setup first, as you can understand what I'm doing. This is my my transistor, my power switch, the circuit, the EGBT drivers which I'm not using for now. Okay. This is my frequency frequency. This is the frequency range switch. This is a diode in series with the MOSFET. Okay, and the primer. That's the primary, the secondary, and these are the charging chokes, okay, which I which is are on the, the same transformer with the taps on the second choke, okay? And in series I have uh, another choke, okay? And going to the water, but this is not the, the, the most interesting thing for now. This is my alternator with the rectifiers here outside and the motor which is driving the alternator, okay? See? My battery, okay. My multimeter. This is a iron powder core, which I am going to use it maybe later. I'm going to make further tests with it. With it. And this is a new bifolar coil, which I made with iron rods inside, okay. And I made it with a wire which I had here, about 20 meters of wire, you see, these are nine uh, square uh, bars, you know, inside, each one is isola insulated from each other to avoid ed eddy currents, but this, is it, this isn't the cool thing yet. <laughs> And here it is. This magnet. Look at it. I'm going to get this on the primary of the transformer, and I will have a change in amp flowing from the battery and a change in the voltage going through the water. When I approach this to this primary coil in the right with the right polarity, it will help to restrict the amps flowing from the battery and at the same time it will raise the voltage through the water. Okay, here it is. Here my voltage, you see, 7.2, so I'm going to turn on the alternator, for God. The alternator voltage keeps uh, constant, okay, no problem. And here it is, I get this here, and you see voltage, raised, gets 12 volts, 12 volts, and if I adjust it, the reverse polarity, you see voltage is not really much higher. Without the magnet, with the magnet with the wrong polarity, you see, and with the right polarity. You see, if I adjust it very well, voltage will become the higher possible, almost twice the voltage. See? I adjust the frequency. Okay. It actually could get up to 13 volts, but 14 volts. It's not doing this anymore. I don't know why. Frequency. 
and see. Okay, no problem. The important thing is that you see the effect, okay? The effect of the magnet. Basically, it will allow the the field to collapse in one direction while opposing the the collapsing of the field in the other direction. So you get This effect, okay. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the amp flowing fr from the battery while I uh, I add the bat the, the magnet there, okay. Um, switching the voltage to ampere meter, okay. Take this out of here. And put it here. Okay. Wait a minute. Here it is. Now it is connected as an amp matter. You see. And I will just touch this here to turn on the circuit. Okay. Because uh, I don't have a main for. Or holding that there okay now I turn on the circuit you see no flowing I touch here I touch here you even heard the noise look 3.5 amp flowing from the from the battery okay now I take out this magnet and touch again 3.247 now I put the magnet again but with the let me see if the polarity is right yes look one less than one amp one amp you see look with the alternator turn it on like it was before okay One amp. Okay. Okay. Amp flow without the magnet. Okay. Here it is. Did you hear the sound of the alternator? Change it. Look if I use the other polarity. Amp flowing without magnet with the magnet without the magnet with the other polarity of the magnet you see see the difference